Hello and welcome to this quick run through on how to turn things on and off using your scripting in Crater. So to turn on and off the visibility of something is pretty straightforward. Um, you should use the self get entity dot visible and then attach that script to the thing. So for example, here's a light and this light has a toggle visible script. The toggle visible script has a switch function. And in that switch function, we are turning on and off the visible checkbox. We can then hook up that function to uh, any kind of event. And for now, I've used this on interact event, which is attached to this retro computer here. Now, if you want to um, make a mesh so that you can't collide with it, as well as it being invisible, that's actually a separate property. So for this car here, I've added uh, another script, which is a toggle collision script. And what this does is it turns on and off the collision enabled um, property. So whilst toggle visible turned on and off the visible property, toggle collisions turns on and off the collision enabled property, which then means that when it's invisible, you can also walk through it. Without this, regardless of whether it's visible or not, it may or may not have collisions on depending on whether the collision enabled checkbox has been checked in the entity editor. Finally, to play sounds and effects, they need to go from a state of being inactive to being in a state where they're active. For example, this explosion here, when I set it to active, the explosion plays. When I set it to inactive, it doesn't play. In order for me to play it multiple times, I need to set it to active and then at some point set it to inactive before I want it to fire again. An easy way to do this is to set it to active or inactive on an interact event. For example, when a player interacts with this computer, it will turn on, on the explosion. When they interact with the computer the next time, it turns off the explosion and so on and so on. And the same with the sounds. However, if you're not going to have an opportunity where you need to where it's you're going to be able to turn off the activeness of the entity, then you will need to also schedule an event which turns off the active property in the future. So by using the self schedule function, you can actually get the get creator to wait off the main thread for a certain amount of time before you set that uh, effect or sound to being inactive. If I then play, play the game, by interacting with this PC, I'm turning on and off that light. I'm also firing a sound effect and then scheduling it to be uh, inactive so that it's ready to fire the next time I turn on or off the light. If I interact with this PC, I'm making the car and all of its children disappear, uh, as well as all the lights. At the same time, I'm playing an effect and I'm playing a sound. And if I jump on this pressure pad, I'm setting a music sound to being active or inactive. So turning on and off music. Hopefully that was helpful. Um, let me know if you've got any feedback relating to uh, scripting tutorials, anything that you want to see and whether that was useful or not. I look forward to seeing what you make.